how many it's released, it won't say. Do you understand the Republican leadership acts like Rand Paul and Ted Cruz that are criticizing this? I mean, Ted, Ted Cruz just says we ought to follow the law. The media's like, how radical, how racist. There's a judge ruling that a border fence is racist. Really, can I go to Mexico, get everything paid for, or, or it's racist? They would laugh at me. <clears throat> this is the total suicidal, suicide-packed religion of political correctness. And here's the deal. The general public still has no idea what this means. This is the North American Union. This is the crisis. You think it's bad to have hundreds of thousands of illegals showing up every few months? Directly going on welfare, 14-year-old kids, 2-year-old babies, 500-pound fat people. Do you have any idea what's going to happen in the next wave? I predict up to 1 million a month. I'm on record if this isn't stopped. And the crime rate, I have mainstream news all over Texas, is the main target zone is just exploding. The home break-ins, the carjackings, the crime of the completely collapsed Mexico. Highest crime rate in the world, 130,000 dead. I keep quoting old numbers from four years ago, because I just got that number in my head and say over 70,000. It's now over 130,000. It was only 100,000. I looked at the numbers. You can pull them up. Just type in number of dead in Mexico in the last decade. And it was 100,000 a year ago. Now it's 130 something. That's what we know of. They're finding mass graves everywhere. And it's Mexicans killing Mexicans, but oh, the La Raza race uh, god, uh, Hardcore, uh, you know, into racism. I know people that know him well. Totally gone off the deep end. People I know that know him say he's crazy now. He used to be like this. Robert Rodriguez has it in movies where it shows Don Johnson shooting pregnant Mexicans in the stomach. That ain't going on. There's not people with cowboy hat, white guys shooting Mexicans. Mexico is where it's happening. But there's no discussion of that. 130 plus thousand dead. Look at that headline. La Raza demands amnesty from new major leader Kevin McCarthy. New majority leader Kevin McCarthy. I mean, that ought to say the race demands amnesty. That's what it means. It's literally the Klan. But it's so socially acceptable that, that, that Hispanics will go to other Hispanics and say, you better join the Raza or you're a sellout because you want guns, you want private property, you're against abortion. Well, let me tell you, you're not welcome in the Raza, baby. This is the total end of the country. This is the murdering of the nation right now and the rule of law. Let's go over to the headlines. So again, we told you with the emergency manager and, and the video that the government is shipping them in and shipping them wherever they want and paying for it and bringing them to welfare offices in cities from New York to Austin, Texas, from Seattle, Washington, to Minneapolis, St. Paul, Chicago, Kansas City, Virginia, all, every state in the union, thousands a day are arriving in these states and they are giving full carte blanche while the veterans are having their funding turned off, being put on death list. Let's go to the headlines right now. U.S. releases immigrant families. Won't say how many. Exactly what we told you. Boom. We broke it. Infowars.com. We're real. We're credible. We're hardcore. Okay? Let's continue. Breaking. Shots fired from Mexico to harass Texas law enforcement. No, they kill cops all the time. It's to kill them because the Texas Highway Patrol is down there with their gunboats. And I want to apologize. I said those gunboats would end up being used against citizens. Day one, there was a secret plan I later learned of at the state legislature to militarize with tanks, armored vehicles, and gunboats for the border because they were already told two years ago this was going to happen. And I apologize to the Texas State Police because they're now down there actually stopping the criminals and the illegals and holding them. Our reporters confirmed that yesterday. I apologize. I was wrong. I learned from a state senator about a six months ago, what we'd already been told part of, he's been on the show before, I'm not going to say any more, about this whole plan because they've been told they're getting rid of it and the state's not going to go along with it because they realize it's meant to bankrupt the state and bring in the feds. Cloward and Piven. I just got chills. This is incredible. And they're getting shot at now, folks. This is, this is going down. Texas ranchers under attack. Home break-ins explode across the Texas border. National Review. Obama judges rules... Obama judge rules border fence racist. Academic wants to force DHS to release names of property owners on the border. So I guess they can be attacked by La Raza. Democratic lawmaker proposed lawyers for immigrant children. Reuters. Democratic rep. Illegals won't show up in court or be sent back. 
Central American media promotes illegal child immigrant tsunami, gives tips. Illegal immigrants hoping are hopping the death train to the U.S. hoping for amnesty. U.S. plans child migrant processing center in South Texas. On and on. We'll be back. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. How long would you last? if all grocery stores cease to exist? Not in America, this can't happen in America. Because of my concern about our government, I was looking at survival stuff. I was raised as a Girl Scout and their motto was to be prepared. Food for Patriots was an opportunity for me to be able to put some things aside. I said, well, this is a product worth having, seeing as it's so good. Like the pricing for what I got, I like the containers they were shipped in. If they keep in touch with you, you get your emails, you get your confirmations. The customer service is just absolutely fantastic. Plan on buying probably about uh, four more of these minimum. And it just came so quick, it came right when they said it would come. Thanks for supplying all this stuff for us, because I think we're all going to be needing it in a very short time. Join over 50,000 Americans who have trusted food for patriots. Go to GetSurvivalFood.com to learn more. That's GetSurvivalFood.com. A sudden change in the wind. The day grows dark as ominous clouds move in and lightning begins to carve arcs in the sky. And you realize you are not prepared. I am telling you to yes, take, cover. take cover. The number of intense storms is increasing exponentially in the U.S. Tornadoes, hurricanes, flooding, and droughts are happening with greater magnitude and frequency. If you are choosing to rely on the government to save you... And no one's coming to help them. You could be dead wrong. The first step towards self-reliance in the face of disaster is a visit to My Patriot Supply. Com. There you'll find the absolute best prices on storable foods, non-GMO seeds, emergency water filtration devices, and so much more. All orders over $49 qualify for free shipping in the lower 48. Visit us online or call 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. And speak to one of our preparedness advisors today. Remember, before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. Jones here back live. CJ and they're running the uh, audio and video board. Made the point, these don't look like the regular hardy Mexican migrants that come up here to work, a lot of them. It is Central South America disgorging women and children and old people and, and folks that are crippled 
and people that have diseases and then just welfare heads as Central and South America goes into a total depression. The Caribbean's crime rate has doubled. Almost everyone I know that's gone to a Caribbean island in the last few years, everybody in Texas flies down there, it's like two hours away, has been robbed in their hotels, robbed on the resorts, robbed in their condo, robbed at the beach, and sometimes at gunpoint. Mexico has had over 130,000 people die in the last eight years that we know of, ladies and gentlemen. And now that is all collapsing as Mexico says, we're not going to control our southern border now. Anybody wants to come up here from Central to South America, you can. And the AP now confirms, if you joined us, what we reported, they are paying to ship them into the country. They say they're releasing them to go wherever they want. No, no, they're, they're, they're paying to ship them. U.S. releases immigrant families. I'm going to reread some of these headlines. I didn't get through all of them, but I was hurrying so quick because of the music. U.S. releases immigrant families. Won't say how many. AP. Hmm, today. Breaking. Shots fired from Mexico to harass Texas U.S. law enforcement and their Texas Highway Patrol gunboats. Texas ranchers under attack. Home break-ins on border area overrun by illegal immigrants. They're mainly going after guns. Obama judge rules border fence racist. Academic wants to force DHS to release names of property owners. Just like they do gun owners. Can still carry people in New York so they can be harassed. Democratic lawmakers propose lawyers for immigrant children. Reuters, yeah. Must spend tens of thousands per child on that. Let's bankrupt the country. After all, it's a Democratic voter. Democratic rep. Illegals won't show up in court or be sent back. Central American media promote illegal child immigrant tsunami, give tips, and then they give examples in the news of that. Illegal immigrants hopping death train to U.S. hoping for amnesty. And you look at the death train photos. I mean, it looks like something out of an apocalypse movie with just giant thousands just climbing on the backs of trains. Mexican troops basically saluting, El Norte! And you don't stop, you don't get off. Boom, a conduit right in which is what the North American Union talked about using all those NAFTA highways from southern Mexico right in. I mean, this is it, folks, and this will drive down the wages. I, I mean, and, and, and the amount of America hate that's promoted in Central and South America is just off the charts. But the, the amount of class envy against anybody, poor people in America would be considered rich in many Central and South American countries, and it is hellish. You don't run a business, you get mugged, you get shaken down unless you live in a dirt floor shack. H homeless children by the tens of thousands roam every major city. It is unbelievable. My dad has gone to Paraguay and other countries to do free medical care, part of Christian groups, and he, he just describes it as absolute hell on earth. And the rich people all go out with caravans, with guys with machine guns, and that status there, and drive from armored compound to armored compound. This is what we're going into. This is the new world order system. And they're going to use this crisis to bring in total control. <clears throat> U.S. plans child migrant processing center in South Texas to then process them, release them. Zuckerberg group, pressure is on for immigration reform. Zuckerberg using Facebook, his criminal pump and dump, to push amnesty as the answer to this. Yeah, that'll, that'll fix it, make them all legal immediately. Border highway, heavily patrolled by state and local police, but not border patrol. Infowars.com, story Kit Daniels with video. There are state surveillance mobile towers, uh, the uh, gunboats that they bought that I was saying would be used against you know, on, the, on the lakes and things. And then I talked to a state senator who was on a few years ago, and he said there's a plan for the state to have martial law on the border if Mexico fully collapses because the feds, we've been told, won't do it. He said that on air. Then I was told off record by some state senators, I'll just leave it at that, that they were getting ready to maybe implement this. But, you know, I'll believe it when I see it. Well, we're actually seeing it. And why is the state doing it? Because the state isn't perfect by all means, but realizes it's more like old-fashioned government that if the whole country collapses their pension funds are gone. Their grandkids have no future. I mean, th th folks, Texas will collapse like California, but even faster under this because of the federal welfare inside and the rest of it. Th th this is incredible. So we have an article right there on that front. I haven't even gone through half the stack. Border gates left wide open by Border Patrol. Border Patrol told to open the gates. We have video of that, Infowars.com. Video. Border Patrol group ordered the Pentagon to send all illegal immigrants home. Doctors warned of looming health crisis due to flood of illegal uh, immigrants.
Most Latino workers are born in the U.S. non-immigrants, new study finds. Local immigrant children forced to cut off fingers and ears of other kids by coyote gangs, says Ted Cruz. We're on the march. The Empire.